Howdy, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to take you through my learning experience of the first time doing the oil on my 2009 Mazda 5. These are the parts I needed for the oil change, aside from the basic oil change stuff like ramps and a catch pan and shop towels. When I originally ordered my filter off Amazon, I picked a canister filter that, according to the search, should fit on my car. Once I got under the car, I found it required a paper filter. I figured I didn't want to be caught off guard again, and I went to O'Reilly's to get the filter and do the oil change. When I got under the car, I started with removing the first bolt I saw, which I don't think is the right move. I reinstalled that, then tried to remove the filter cover with a one-size-fits-all oil wrench, which didn't work for me. One upside to changing the oil in the parking lot of an auto parts store, although I hear not all of them are okay with this, is the ability to go inside and get the right parts. I went into the store and tried a few different oil wrenches until I got a 76 millimeter 14 flute wrench. I counted 13 flutes on the oil filter, but I was able to get the 14 flute wrench to work. However, it slipped even when I was applying pressure. After I got the filter off, I went to empty the oil pan, which required a 17 millimeter socket. I would recommend using a cheater bar or another way to more effectively loosen the bolt. While kicking it did work, I wouldn't recommend it. I missed it on video, but in the package for the oil filter, a small rubber ring was included for the oil pan bolt. I went and installed that after the fact. A larger rubber ring was also included for the oil filter cap, so I went ahead and replaced that, then had to convince the filter to sit down in the column. Here's the oil wrench slipping when I reinstalled the filter cover and tightened it down. It took me a bit to figure this out, but the oil cap only turns a quarter of the way and can then be pulled out. The instruction manual specifies a requirement of 4.3 quarts of oil. I usually find 5 quarts of high mileage synthetic oil for right around 28 bucks, usually at Walmart. This time it was available on Amazon for the Walmart price. I've added affiliate links for all the parts I used in the description. I filled it slowly and kept checking the bottle to avoid overfilling. Overall, this was one of the easiest vehicles I've ever changed the oil on. The oil filter cover has great access and doesn't drip on any part of the car. The oil pan also has great access and poured unencumbered into my oil pan. I hope you liked the brevity of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.